All right, gonna run through on uh, overclocking using Awesome Miner. Got the uh, miner going already. Got your clocking here. Uh, I'm just using the one card for now, just for the video. I'm gonna set these all to zero. You know what? We'll just start. We're gonna start at the bottom power limit. Go all the way down with the memory. And we'll just go up 125 with the core, because at these lower power levels, your core will go super low. So, okay, we're gonna do 50. Start at 50 power. We're gonna be at a negative thousand memory. Um, it's nice about awesome miners, you can get your memory below the, like if you go to Afterburner, you've only got negative 500, you can go on the memory, but in here you can get it down a little bit lower. So we're at 6,500, 50 power, 75 fan. We do our power, our temperature limit at 75. Kind of keep track of the core. It's kind of bouncing all over at this lower power level. Uh, you could start all the way at the top at 100 power and work your way down, but you're usually going to be down in the 60 to 65 range for power limit to find the best efficiency. So we'll just start at the bottom. It's got 125 watts. I will right, we'll call that, so we'll go up to 55. At the lower power limits, too, your fan will actually pull some of your your hash away, trying to stay under the the wattage limits. So I always try to keep track of that, too. And having um, the GPU as your desktop will affect it as well. Actually, we're at 125 core. Wait for that to settle in. Yeah, it looks like it's done moving. So we'll go up to 60 power. It's nice with the uh, awesome miners. You can view all your GPUs in one nice little area. You could select multiples and apply them. Start doing the math on these. So we're going to take that 2.78, turn it into 2780, divided by 125. This is efficiency of 22. Do the next one, 32.20, divided by 137, going up a little bit more, 3.62 is where that guy's settle it in, so jump up to 65, do the math on this guy real quick, so drop the dot, 36.20, divided by 148, efficiency's still going up, still jumping quite a bit. You can mess around with the extra core boost. Uh, it will eventually crash on you. The card I'm working on now, I know crashes at 150, so just leave it at 125. It's slowing down quite a bit, so it might be settled in now. Nah, it jumped back down, so that should be about where it settles. Call that 160. Yeah, call it 160. Yeah, 161. All right, bump it up to 70. Do the math on this guy. 3,900. Looks like we're starting to go back down. Do some quick math, see if it's even getting us in the right direction. That's probably not. Looks like it might be settled in here, so. 3,970. 173 watts. Yeah, we're dropping big time now, so. Looks like the sweet spot is 60 power. And then if you have multiple cards, um, just kind of do that with your slowest card. Get all your testing done, and then you can do profile, save as, uh, we can call this MTP 2080. Super. I'm going to throw a test after this just in case. Um, and then later when you come back to it, you know, you can do profile, load, you save all your different cards, MTP 2080 Super test, applies it to the next card, go through, load. So this one's a 2070 Super, already got it saved. There we go. Uh, Go through, start these all back up again, select all cards. I'm doing a 
uh, at a pool advanced intensity of 24 on these. Uh, if it, your rig crashes at 24, could be a power supply issue. Get them all loaded up now. So yeah, there you go. Uh, you could start at the top, 100% power, work your way down. Uh, seems a little bit quicker to go from bottom to up, though. Find it a little bit quicker. All right, cool. Later.